Hello, my name is Elijah, and I'm a water resource specialist here at the City of Phoenix. Businesses are part of what make Phoenix a great place to live. And like our other residents, they have their own role to play for water conservation. However, we understand that water conservation for businesses is different than our other residents. If you're a business owner, you know that your facility uses water in many more ways than your home does. And some of them are unique to your industry. Before investing in retrofits, you want to know what works and what other people in the Valley have done. The Green Business Program, run through the Department of Public Works, is one of the ways that we can help you understand how you can be more efficient, including water conservation. Today, we're gonna to be meeting with one of the program participants to see what they've done in their facility and see if we can learn a thing or two. I am Nicole Facer. I'm a part of Desert Financial's green team. I am a Cesar Fernandez, facilities manager. And Nicole, what can you tell me about the building behind us? Today, we are here at Desert Financial's corporate location, located at 148 North 48th Street. And can you tell us a little bit more about how you got involved in the Green Business Leader Program? Yeah, so here at Desert Financial, we take pride in giving back to our community and sharing success. We understand that things are constantly changing and we need to understand what resources we're using and how they affect our community. The Green Business Program has been a great tool in helping us assess where we currently stand and the opportunities we have in the future to be a more sustainable business. Awesome, let's see what you've done inside. So, Nicole, where are we in the building? We are on the fourth floor, which mm -hmm. is a mix of consumer lending and our mortgage team. Yeah, and this is beautiful up here, but I don't think we're here to look at office space, are we? No, we're here to look at the restrooms. Yeah. So are the restrooms the same across all the floors? Yes, they are. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what you've done. Oh, it's really nice in here. How about we check out one of these toilets? Yeah, just go in here. So Caesar, what are the specifications on this toilet? So this is an automatic flush toilet, 1.28 uh, GPF. And GPF is again? Gallons per flush. Oh, wow, so that adds up to be about one third gallon water savings per flush. That adds up to be quite a bit. Yeah, that's correct. So why did you choose to retrofit your toilets? Because the other toilets were outdated and we're looking to preserve water for the building. Mm -hmm. That's why we installed these automatic uh, flush toilets. Yeah, and how have you liked how these performed? Oh, everybody loves them. So was it the same with these sinks? Yes, it was the same case for the sinks and faucets. Actually, we wanted to preserve water. Uh, these faucets are 0 0.5 GPM. And what's GPM? Gallons per minute. Oh, wow, that's half as much water as the older models. That's correct. It's been really wonderful to see what you guys have done with this area. How about we go see another area of the facility? Sure, let's go. I wouldn't have expected to find a gym in here. Who uses it? So this is the Desert Financial Fitness Area. It mm -hmm. can be used by all employees from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. But that also means you have to maintain a shower system, right? That's correct. We have to maintain a shower system. We find a way to do it efficiently. Okay, let's see how you did it. <laughs> oh, hey, these actually look pretty nice. So these are, what are the specifications on these? These ones are 2 GPM. Oh, that's a half gallon water savings over the older models. That's correct. Yeah. But I think there's a true test for this, right? Let's see how it feels. Wow, that actually feels pretty good. I think there's still a misconception among consumers that lower flow shower heads don't feel as good because of the lower water pressure, but I think these really disprove the role. Yeah, these ones are very nice. And we actually do legionella testing on this one often. Oh. So we switch them often for the safety of our employees. Oh, wow. But I think there's one last area of the facility we need to look at, right? Yes, there's one more. Okay, well, let's go check it out. Perfect. So Nicole, describe where we are now. So now we are in the basement. It is home to a few different departments. We have our mailroom, procurement, and our facilities department. So this is kind of the brains of the operation, right? Yes, that's correct. This is where we monitor all our, all our systems. What's this area's relevance to water conservation? Because this is where we get all the alerts. We have our uh, HVAC system, leak detectors, mm -hmm. and uh, fire systems. All the systems we monitor from down here. So what am I looking at up here? That's our cooling system. Those are cooling towers, chillers. We monitor the water, wow. how cold it is, and also we get in any water alerts. Yeah. So what have you learned from monitoring your systems this way? Well, uh, this building, it was built to use two chillers for the 800-ton uh, mm -hmm. system, and actually we only use for 100 tons. Really? 
Well, that adds up to be really substantial water savings. Yes. Is there anything else you monitor down here? Yes, we monitor uh, water sensors, leak detectors, mm -hmm. uh, fire systems, lighting systems, the pressure of wa the water coming into the building. Mm -hmm. Is this something about leak detectors, right? Yes, we have uh, leak detectors in our critical areas, mechanical rooms. Oh, cool. Can I see one of those? Yes. Okay, Caesar, tell me what I'm looking at. This is our leak detection system. These mm -hmm. are our leak detectors. In case there is a flood in the basement, mm -hmm. oh, this will detect the water. Can you set one off for me? Yes. I'm just going to wet it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I should get a... Uh, an alarm on my phone. Oh, wow. Why did you get two? One is first, it detected water, and since I removed the wet towel, mm -hmm. it went back to normal. Cool, so it can sense if it's on or off, right? Correct. Oh, cool. Let's head out to the central monitoring area. So what led you to install the leak detection system? That's a great question. Uh, years back, we had a flood in the basement and it actually uh, destroyed our carpet, wow. our cubicles, our walls, the entire basement. That's really interesting. When we at the city talk about leaks, it's almost always in the context of sharing a common resource, which is true. But for you guys, there can be additional consequences when you guys have a leak. Yes, it affects our employees, community, and members. And that's a great water conservation message. Well, thank you for showing me the brains of the operation. Let's go back outside. Well, thank you for letting us tour your facility today. We sure learned a lot from this experience. Before we go, is there anything else you would have to say to a business planning on going through the Green Business Leader Program? Yeah, I would just say to not hesitate in actually getting started with the process. Mm -hmm. The Zero Waste Analysts were really helpful and provided us with a lot of resources and to get the process started. Awesome, thank you. If you have questions or are interested in joining the Green Business Leader Program, please visit our website at phoenix.gov slash greenbusiness. If you have any questions about what you can do to conserve water, please email us at conservation at phoenix.gov. Thank you again for touring with us, and keep saving water.